<laughs> Moo! Wilbur starts a giggling, <laughs> then he starts to laugh, <laughs> then he starts a wiggling. He's such, such a funny, funny cat. Moo! When he starts to wiggle, when he starts to giggle, you know it must be time to read a book. Because books are moveless. Read a book. Because books are adventurous. Read a book. Come on, everybody. Let's all have fun with Wilbur. <laughs> Dasha is a happy duck. She loves to laugh and fly. Cock a doodle doo. It's Ray. You know that he's not shy. Little Dippy giggles when Wilbur wiggles. These barnyard friends just love to read a book. Books are moveless. Read a book. Cause books are adventurous. Read a book. Come on, everybody. Let's all have fun with Wilbur. Wilbur's nap. Hi! Oh, I don't know why I'm so tired. Do you ever get tired? Yeah, sometimes. I've been playing with my friends, but I think I need to rest for a while. Wilbur! Wilbur! Huh? What happened? <laughs> you fell asleep. Looks like you found Wilbur, Dasha. Yeah, he fell asleep. <sighs> I'm so tired. Wilbur needs a nap. You're right, Libby. Okay, Wilbur. You get some sleep. You can play with us later. Last one to the hay bale is a rotten corn cob. <laughs> <laughs> I got here first. I'm second. Libby's not rotten. <laughs> okay, let's have another race to Wilbur's window. Go! <laughs> Ten. I'm first. I don't think so. I touched first. Me first, me first. Okay, Libby, this time you can be the first to get tickled. <laughs> Are you finished sleeping already, Wilbur? I didn't sleep at all. I can't sleep. Why Wilbur can't sleep? Yeah, why can't you sleep, Wilbur? Oh, oh. I'm so tired I can hardly wiggle. Maybe your wiggle will help you figure out how to get to sleep. I hope so. Uh, uh. Moo, moo, moo. What should we do? Moo, moo, moo. Read a book with you. Let's move! Come on, get up and move it. Come on, get up and shake it. Move it and shake it. Let's find a book. Come on, get up and move it. Come on, get up and shake it. Move it and shake it. Let's find a book. Wiggle, giggle, cock a doodle doo. We're gonna read some books with you. With a bar and a quack and a wiggle in your shoe. Wilbur's books are fun for you. Come on, everybody, and move it. Come on, everybody, and shake it. Move it and shake it. Let's read a book. Read a book. We love books. Moo! Moo! What's the book, Wilbur? It's called King Roy's Big Voice. It says King Roy uses his outside voice all the time. How is that going to help you go to sleep? <sighs> Let's find out. We're ready to read. How about you? Once upon a time, King Roy made a choice to always use his loud outside voice. Loyal subjects, I have decided that we shall have a big party! Yay! He never spoke softly. He would only shout when he was inside or when he was out. Bring me my royal crown, please! Even when others were trying to rest, King Roy liked using his loud voice best. La 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 la! People covered their ears any way they could, but then no one could hear, and that was no good. I'd like a sandwich, please! I'm sorry. 
sorry, did you say something? I can't hear you. The queen finally told him... Your voice is too loud, which is fine for outside, when you speak to a crowd. But if others are near or trying to rest, using your quiet voice is simply the best. Really? I'll have to give that a try. Now King Roy only shouts when he talks to the crowd. My loyal subjects! I want to say, tomorrow is a holiday! Yay! But when others are near, he's never loud. <gasps> I think they liked my speech. <laughs> they did. How to help Wilbur sleep. It was in the book. Don't worry, Wilbur. We have it all figured out. Huh? I'm going to sleep then. This is perfect. It's so quiet, I can't hear a thing. Speak up, Ray. I can't hear you. Huh? What'd you say to huh? her? I said speak up. It's not working. What, Wilbur? Can't hear you, Wilbur! It's not working! Huh? Huh. Why do you have earmuffs on? In the book, they all wore earmuffs. You're right, Dasha, but it isn't helping me sleep. Maybe we missed something in the story? Moo, moo, moo. Is the answer in the book? We'll find it, Wilbur. Let's take another look. Once upon a time, King Roy always used his loud outside voice, even when he was inside. Bring me my royal crown, please! Whoa! He even used his loud voice when other people were trying to sleep. La 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 la! la. Everyone covered their ears, but then they couldn't hear each other. I'd like a sandwich, please! I'm sorry, did you say something? I can't hear you. Finally, the queen told King Roy, Your voice is too loud, which is fine for outside, when you speak to a crowd. But if others are near or trying to rest, using your quiet voice is simply the best. Really? I'll have to give that a try. Get it? King Roy understood that his loud outdoor voice was for the crowd. And his quiet indoor voice was for when he was inside. And that was much better for everyone. The end. So in the story, King Roy found out that sometimes his voice was too loud. Too loud? Is that why you can't sleep, Wilbur? Because we were using loud voices? Uh-huh. Sorry, Wilbur. Yeah, we'll be really quiet. Thanks. <sighs> Nap time. <clears throat> All I need now is a nice little song to help me sleep. Can you think of one? When someone is sleeping or just going to bed We don't yell out loud, we're quiet instead we Use our gentle voices because we must be Thoughtful of others, it's easy, you'll see Day is done is a good song to go to sleep to Lullaby and goodnight Rockabye baby when someone is tired Gentle voices and speak quietly. I play music to help me sleep. Easy Wincy Spider. To help me sleep, I make up song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. We don't yell out loud or holler or roar. That's what our gentle voices are for. Hmm. <sighs> 
had such a good nap. Now, uh, I'm ready to play. Huh. Who wants to play? Oh, I mean, move. Hey, did you hear that? I'm using my quiet inside voice, just like King Roy in the book. At least until they wake up. That's why I always say books are moveless. Every time I open a book, I have a really great time. I might read a funny story or a nursery rhyme. Cause books are moveless. They're fantabulous. Books are moveless. Oh yeah! Books are moveless. So much fun for us. Books are moveless. <laughs> Move! Wilbur starts a giggling, <laughs> then he starts to laugh, <laughs> then he starts a wiggling. He's such a funny cat. Move. When he starts to wiggle, when he starts to giggle, you know it must be time to read a book. Because books are moveless. Read a book. Because books are adventurous. Read a book. Come on, everybody, let's all have fun with Wilbur. <laughs> Dasha is a happy duck. She loves to laugh and fly. cock a doodle do It's Ray. You know that he's not shy. Little Lippy giggles when Wilbur wiggles. These barnyard friends just love to read a book. Books are moveless. Read a book. Because books are adventurous. Read a book. Come on, everybody. Let's all have fun with Wilbur. The Broken Toy. Uh -huh. And... Uh. Moo, 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 moo. Hi. Libby and I are building a house out of blocks. Do you think we can build it higher? Yeah! Okay. I'll help you, Wilbur. Okay, Dasha, that would be moveless. Hi, guys. Look what I built. Wow. It's the best model plane I've ever made. I have to be extra. <gasps> uh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah! Uh, my plane. Uh, I can't drop my. <gasps> Here, give it to me. <laughs> I got it. Phew. Thank you, Wilbur. It'd be a tragedy if I broke my plane. I'll just put it in a safe place over here. Great. I better go get. <gasps> uh, uh, get you. Wow, Ray sure does sneeze big. Big sneezes. Okay, let's see how high we can make this house. Watch this. I can make it really high. Oh, 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 oh no! Uh oh. I broke Ray's plane. He's going to be so mad. So mad. I can't tell him. You have to tell him. What should I say? Tell him what happened. But he'll be so mad. So mad. I don't know what to do. Uh, uh. Wilbur's wiggling. I hope your wiggle's going to help me figure out what to do. Me too. Moo, moo, moo. What should we do? Moo, moo, moo. Read a book with you. Let's move. Come on, get up and move it. Come on, get up and shake it. Move it and shake it. Come on, get up and shake it. Move it and shake it. Let's find a book. Wiggle, giggle, cock and doodle doo. We're gonna read some books with you. With a bar and a quack and a wiggle and a shoe. Wilbur's books are fun for you. Come on, everybody, and move it. Come on, everybody, and shake it. Move it and shake it. Let's read a book. Read a book. Read a book. Move. Move. What's the book called, Wilbur? The title is The Potter's Helper. What's a potter? Someone who makes things out of clay. It says on the back of the book, Dashini breaks Ramoni the Potter's favorite vase and doesn't know what to do. Is this story going to help me figure out what to do? Let's find out. We're ready to read. How about you? Moo, moo, moo. We're ready to read, too. <laughs> 
Once upon a time, after working for days and days, Ramoni, the great potter, made a beautiful vase. It's a masterpiece. This is the most beautiful vase that has ever been made. I love it. But one day, his helper Dashini bumped it by mistake. Whoa! She held her breath in horror as she saw it fall and break. Oh, no! When Ramoni sees this, he'll be so mad! Instead of telling Ramoni, she said, I'll fix it with some glue. Please stick together, please. But the pieces wouldn't stick. Now what will I do? She was scared to tell him, but she knew she had no choice. I'm sorry I broke it. It was an accident. She said in a trembling voice. My vase! My beautiful vase! Ramoni was glad that she'd told him, and he wasn't mad as she'd guessed. He was upset, but he said... Accidents happen. And telling the truth is always best. So, you're not mad? Bah, I'm upset that it's broken, but I'm not mad at you. Come on, let's make another vase together even more beautiful. The End Thanks, Wilbur. Now I know exactly what to do. Dasha, what are you doing? I'm going to try to glue Ray's plane back together. Achoo! Oh no, I hear Ray. He's coming and I haven't even glued his plane back together. What am I going to do? Be like Dashini. Right, do what Dashini did in the story. I can't remember what she did. Moo, moo, moo. Let's find that out in the book. We'll help, Wilbur. Let's take another look. Once upon a time. There was a potter named Ramoni who worked for days and days to make a beautiful vase. It's a masterpiece. This is the most beautiful vase that has ever been made. I love it. But when his assistant was sweeping the floor, she knocked over the vase by mistake. She didn't mean to. It hit the floor and broke in lots of pieces. She thought that Ramoni would be mad at her. She didn't know what to do. So she tried to glue the vase back together. The glue didn't work. Now what will I do? Finally, she realized that she had to tell Ramoni what happened. I'm sorry I broke it. It was an accident. My beautiful vase. Ramoni was sad that the vase was broken, but he wasn't mad at her. I get it. It's always best to tell the truth. Accidents happen. Accidents happen. And telling the truth is always best. The end. So, Wilbur, the book is saying that it's always best to tell the truth and to say you're sorry? <laughs> of course it's best to tell the truth. Hey, where's my plane? Well, Ray, I broke your plane. It was an accident. <gasps> my plane? You broke my beautiful model plane? I'm so sorry, Ray. It was an accident. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Dasha's so sorry. <sighs> oh, it's all right, Dasha. You didn't mean to do it. Accidents do happen. We could try to glue it back together. Well, you never know. It might work. Have you ever had to say you're sorry? Saying sorry is what you do so when you've done something to make a friend feel sad, won't you just say sorry?
I had to say sorry when I broke someone's snowman. When I make my sister cry, I say sorry. I say sorry when I don't chill. If you rip a special book or take the wrong code from a hook, sorry is the thing to say. It's the only way. I say sorry when I hurt someone's feelings. I say sorry when I fall down and fall on someone. I say sorry when I make a bus. Saying sorry is what you do. Just say sorry. All righty. Let's see how it looks. I like it. I think it looks even better. Uh, well, maybe not better, but pretty good. I think it looks... Uh, uh, it looks... Uh, uh, oh, no! Uh, yikes! Got it! Yay! 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 <laughs> Are you okay? <gasps> I'm okay, but your house isn't. I'm so sorry, Wilbur. That's okay, Ray. You know what Ramoni said in the book? Accidents do happen. That's why I always say, books are moveless. <laughs> <laughs>